All right, so I've got uh, the software pulled up. You can get the app on the phone, but I can't record at the same time as the app. Um, you can see in here that, um, well, first off, the IP is a non routable IP. It's internal to the network I'm on right now. And this page is being served up from software inside the ESP32 WLED runs a uh, web server with this software running on it. So if I just go to um, a solid color and choose um, a color from this wheel, let's say one of these pinks, um, that's what we get out of our LEDs. So I can change that to pretty much any hue, any color. Right now we're changing all of the um, all of the colors or all the pixels at once so you can get different whites and stuff like that. Um, there's some other really cool uh, options on the list. I'll start with lightning and uh, this just randomly waits and flickers like lightning effects. I thought that was really cool. Um, and then if we go up uh, on the list um, maybe like fireworks. I don't know if it really looks like fireworks, but kind of cool. And I'll just do a couple other ones. This one's called Fairy. And of course, all these reflections uh, that you see back here. That's just because I only have uh, wax paper right now, a couple layers of wax paper over the LEDs. So this is just prototype for the actual thing I'm going to build. Um, drip is kind of cool. So this is a drip, although let's make drip a random color. There we go. The other ones probably would have looked cooler. Let's go back to fairy with a random color. It's still kind of on the white side darken that up um, here's candy cane for Christmas time kind of neat um, one of my favorites here is candle if we get it more in like the yellowish um, or there is like a it's a little too green there that it doesn't really look it on here um, but it's not quite picking up the yellow on the video maybe I can darken it for the video there we go a little bit looks kind of white on the video but it's very yellow and um, you know bouncing balls you can do like blink rainbows Ripples. Kind of cool how it makes like dark areas and stuff. Um, I guess I should have that on random. So that's um, that's pretty much it. Um, you can also just you know make your own segments in the software so that you can um, just make your own scenes where things are one color on top, one color on the bottom, um, things like that. So really, really awesome. I am, I'm really happy with the way this is coming out. And that's it. Just wanted to show you what I'm working on.